to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a hair review video it is sponsored by love me hair so thank you so much love me for sponsoring this video i wanted to hop on and show you guys the finished product and then we're going to get right into how i installed this hair and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so this is how your box will look it has changed it used to not have like any little design on the front but i like the design it's super cute so in your box you of course will receive your wig along with your wig you'll receive a bag of goodies you will receive a wig cap a two-pack and you will receive the little bitty brochure to tell you how to take care of the hair so in the little goodie bag you will have a headband you'll also have a pack of earrings and then you'll have bobby pins and a edge brush it's the dual edge brush so i really like that here's a little close-up before i start plucking and using lace tint and everything it does come with one comb in the top two combs on the side and then one comb on the back and it also came with an elastic band already on it and the hair did come already curled for you right here before i put it on my head i did want to hot comb the hair and this is just to get it as flat as possible before actually putting it on my head because the hot comb is hot <laughs> and I have burnt myself before so I would just like to avoid burning myself by all means. So I decided to use um, my foundation this time to put in the part and then I start plucking but in the next clip you will see that I actually decided to switch the side of my part. The part came on the left side but I like the part to be on the right side so right here I'm sitting down. Um, I had already flipped it over but I'm just kind of defining the part per se and then I'm going to pluck a little bit in that part and then I'm going to use the hot comb also to hot comb this flat so basically it lays flatter on this side rather than the left side. So I just spent an hour braiding my hair under this wig. Um, this wig is kind of tight. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's probably gonna, I'm plucking, that's why I got that like that. But she's, she's snug. I have the elastic band in use right now. So I can't do glueless just simply because like it fits up here, but if I wanted to do glueless, like if I cut this lace off, you're gonna see my actual hair right there because the wig kind of goes back. So the wig isn't, it's, it's like not big enough for me to just completely do glueless, you know? So I would have to at least glue down these sideburns and then I could probably get away with not gluing down the top. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and Ooh, my eyes are hurting. Glue down the entire thing. I'm gonna have to glue down the sideburns. And then we're just gonna have to go from there. But I'm plucking. Um, I started to pluck behind the hairline first. And now I'm probably gonna go in the front because, yeah, you see, it's not too realistic, but it's super cute. Before I start plucking on my head, I do like to use the hot comb to kind of hot comb all the hair back to get everything in place so you can get a clean slate and see what you're working with. And then after that, I will go ahead and start plucking on the hair. And then when I'm done with that, I'll take the wig back off and then I will start putting um, powdered foundation on my wig, <laughs> excuse me, on my wig cap, Ooh, tongue twister, to kind of get it a little bit more of my skin tone to look at. To make it look a little bit more realistic if you the glue i'll be using today i got from the beauty supply store it is the even new york i believe um it was like 14 dollars with tax like 15. um i didn't want to buy an expensive glue like bold hold or ghost spun or anything because this will be my very first time ever applying a wig with glue so as you saw i did wipe my forehead i just used regular witch hazel to remove the dirt and makeup at the top of my forehead and then i want to put the wig back on place it and once it's placed correctly, um, I see a lot of girls cut the wig into three parts. So since I am actually gluing this down with real glue, I decided to actually cut it in three parts. So it can be a little bit easier for me to lay down. So here um, I see all the girlies do dots around the perimeter of their head. So that's just what I'm doing. Like I said, this is my very first time ever installing a wig like this with some glue. So I wanted to do it right. And after putting all the dots that I wanted. I just um, spread it out with a the end of the rat tail comb. Some girls I see on YouTube use, you know, end of popsicle sticks, whatever. I just use the end of my rat tail comb and then 
I let this sit, I believe, for 10 minutes. I put a timer on, and even after 10 minutes, you will see, like, the white was still there. It was faded, but it was still very much white. So maybe I didn't spread it out correctly. I don't know, but definitely you might, you're maybe going to have to let this sit for like 15 minutes. I guess that is maybe the downside about using this brand. It takes a minute to dry. Um, I know other brands usually dry a little bit faster. So I'm not sure if I already mentioned, but this is their HD Lace and Baby. When I say HD, it is HD. Look how this is just melting into the hair. Granted, the glue isn't all the way dry, but this wig is melting. It's melted, okay? I think I did pretty good for my first try, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So you'll see at the end that the glue did dry up pretty well, but this is their HD lace and baby, it is so, so good. So why I have the elastic band on? I think I did let the elastic band sit for about like 15, 20 minutes. I did decide to go ahead and wind curl the hair. I already showed which tool I had attached to it. I did have the larger attachment on this one because I wanted bigger body wave, loose wave, beachy curls. And I love the loose wave look. It looks very, very natural. And this hair is definitely giving natural. So I decided to just go ahead and use the larger um rod i think it was 32 mm if i'm not mistaken and i did use it on 405 degrees heat i will not use that for natural hair but for you know wigs and stuff i definitely go almost as high as possible on the heat Now that the glue is about 95% dry, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the lace. And once I cut it off, you're going to see how well this hair and lace blends in to your skin. Looks so natural, so good. And that glue right there, I just added a little bit too much glue to the side. Don't worry about it. I did wipe it off at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off the side and then the front. is the finished product and I am in love y'all know I love me some love me hair and baby they did it <laughs> this is so freaking cute like hold up so all the hair details and stuff I should have probably already said and they're going to be down in the description box below I did forget what link they sent me um I don't know and I don't have like a little invoice or anything but everything will be on the screen or the description box but baby this is super cute the hair came pre-curled as I'm pretty sure you saw in the video I did use a wand curl just to put in a little bit few looser waves in here but honey like get into it get into it get into it get into it 
um it did come in a side part the side part was actually on this side so it was like flipped over this way type of side parts does not look good on me so i just flipped it over this way used the hot comb turned it over here on this side and i am in love the hair is super super soft super silky absolutely love it here is a 10 out of 10 um i did use glue on this install you guys know i don't like glue i probably already said this but i'm in love like let me just bow okay i used glue on this one this was my very first time putting like actual glue on my hair not like a got to be glue gel and i must say it actually turned out pretty good i did over pluck a little bit right here i don't know if you guys can tell um i added <laughs> I added mascara right here, so I'm not sure if you really can tell or not, but I did over pluck right here. But nevertheless, it is it is super cute. Um, like I said, I did glue it down. You can definitely put this wig as a glueless wig, but I told you guys, I think earlier in the video, that this wig cap was a little bit, well, it was a lot of it. <laughs> it was snug on me, so I definitely wouldn't be able to have done a glueless method. But other than that, I really, really like this wig. It's so cute. Like, love me hair is really doing it for me. Like, y'all are really doing it for me. Seriously. <laughs>